There's a lot of chatter on the internet about the fact that in my paint, or I'm sorry, in open tunes, if you use the my paint brushes, okay, so you create a plain old raster level, not a tunes raster level, and not a tunes vector level, but a plain old raster level. There's no way to do a fill operation, and that is true. And I like the my paint brushes. I like the aesthetic. I like the fact that you can do all kinds of painting um, right in open tunes if you use the my paint brushes. Uh, you get all the benefits of my paint essentially with animation, which is cool. Problem is, there's no fill operation. What do we do about that? Now, the reason I like it, by the way, is because to me it has an aesthetic similar to scanned pencil art. So it sort of fits an anime workflow for me. Now, if I want to fill this, I'm out of luck. I hit the F key. This current tool cannot be used on a raster level. So all the chatter about that is, is like, oh my gosh, it's ridiculous. Why can't we do a fill in a raster level? Well, the reason is that turning a raster level into an open tunes or a tunes raster level so that you can do a fill operation and work with a palette is actually brain dead easy. All you do is click on the level, click scan and clean up, and then click clean up. All right, I'm gonna look at that. Eh, it looks pretty good. Clean up all. That's it. Now it's a tunes raster level. And I can go ahead and fill that in. And I get all the benefits of a tunes palette because I can change the color after the fact. All right? And in this case, I also need a, a color for his eyes. Okay, um, now, the thing you might complain about here is that the, the colors in the cleaned up art look a little darker than the original um, quote unquote pencil drawing. And you are correct. How do we solve that? Okay, let's find out. First of all, let's create a new, let's just kind of do the same thing we did again, because it does completely erase your level and your raster level and replace it with a tunes raster level. Remember, if you bring in any art from any other program, whether it's Blender or Creator or whatever, um, you're gonna have this same problem. Any art that you, in, you know, any image sequence you bring into OpenTunes is a raster level. It's got to be converted if you're going to do anything with it. Okay? So, here's what you want to look at. Look at your cleanup settings. I'm going to go into my cleanup settings. And the default brightness and contrast are 0 and 50. So I'm going to turn the brightness up to 20 and the contrast down to 20. All right? And where am I going to save that? I'm going to go ahead and save it here. Um, in the drawings folder. I don't know. I think what it wants me to do is actually create a folder. I'm not sure. Uh, let's call it CONV for convert. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is save the um, cleanup settings. So the way this is going is a little strange um, because it wanted me to select a folder but then when I go to save the cleanup settings it just goes elsewhere and I had this setting called conservative cleanup that I created earlier so anyway oops okay so by changing the cleanup settings I believe this will work I, again and this is important you must click on the heading of the level if you have either a picture selected, like a frame selected, or something else, it won't work. In fact, I'm pretty sure if I hit scan and clean up and go clean up, okay, now it works. Okay, 10 other times it didn't work. All right, um, let, me, let me click here and just see what happens. Okay, yeah, that's what normally happens. If you don't have the heading or the entire column selected or the level selected, when you hit clean up, just nothing happens. So it's a little confusing. Click on the, the level, click clean up, and now that I'm using the, um, 
the different brightness and contrast settings, the result should look a little closer to my original. Let's see what happens. Okay, so right now you can see that picture. Click clean up. Yeah, and it's actually a little bit lighter. Uh, and it also gave me a default palette to use. So now that I've done that conversion, I can use the fill tool and it works just fine. So if you're wondering why there's these two little red arrows, it's because right now in my fill settings, <coughs> I have it set to frame range. If this was an animation, I could actually click in frame one and then um, let's say this character moves around and then I could click in frame 25 or whatever and it will fill all the frames and it'll follow that little red arrow through the animation and do the best job it can of, um, of coloring everything in all in one fell swoop, which is really kind of nice. Okay. Um, so the benefit of the tunes raster levels is that you can change the colors after the fact, which is really cool. So anyway, that's, that's what you do. If you want to use the My Paint Brushes, go ahead and create your art and just use the cleanup tool. It works. It works very well. What I can see here is I probably want the contrast settings. I want the contrast a little higher. I think I'm thinking maybe 30-30 instead of 20-20 would be a good setting. But um, it, it just, this solves a major problem that a lot of people complain about. And that solution has been in open tunes for quite a while. Um, and I'm thinking that's probably why the issue of fill uh, operations on a raster level hasn't really been addressed is because the truth is it's it doesn't need to be um, the ability is already there so anyway that's it for today and um, uh, happy animating and we'll see you next time